Check out our friends at Iron Wolf Ranch and Distillery in the beautiful hill country just down the road in Spicewood. Go there for cocktails, live music, and fun times. Plus, grab a bottle to go. They're family and dog friendly with 15 acres of games and hill country views, award-winning craft spirits. They have it all. Bring your pack. It's a really cool vibe. There's something for everyone. Ask for Iron Wolf at local bars and restaurants. Check them out online and social media. Iron Wolf Ranch and Distillery. Bold spirits. Texas attitude. You're listening to Cobra Cast. The Cobra injects deadly venom through its fangs like ta toxins through a pair of hypodermics. is the Cobra Cast. And here's your host, Bobby Sharon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How did they make me the host? I don't know how that happened. How did, how did <laughs> you that, put yourself in charge? How did that happen? <laughs> I'm the I'm the what is it, the head bitch in charge? Is that how it works? The HBIC. Yeah, one of those. Anyways. Please welcome to episode number 446 of the Cobra Cast podcast with, I guess we're sort of undesignated drivers tonight, so, because we're sipping a little bit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so let me ask you, is it the Dizzy Bangers or Dizzy Bangers? Because I got Either, well, two, I mean, two, two ways you can do this. Typically, I, I like the Dizzy Bangers, but a lot of people think that it's like Dizzy Bangers, or it's kind of like the Rolling Stones versus Rolling Stones, or... You know, the Stone Temple Pilots versus Stone Temple Pilots. I don't think it matters so much. If you look for us on social media, just just type Dizzy Bangers. Right. Not the Dizzy, Dizzy Bangers shows right. right up. But some people, I didn't think about this years ago, but some people <clears throat> think that it's a person whose first name is Dizzy and last name is Bangers. <laughs> oh, wow. So. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, because you look at the logo and it says the Dizzy Bangers. Then you mm-hmm. see your like your music online and it says Dizzy Bangers. I was kind of looking at it right. today going, okay, how do I list this, you know? Uh, I, 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 was, I, I just put Dizzy Bangers. Yeah, I mean, if you start there, you'll get it. But Anyways, in the house, Dizzy Bangers. Hey, <laughs> what's up, y'all? Jimmy and Richard in the house. Woo! Woo. You hey, guys oh, made yeah. it, Thank man. Thank you for having us. No problem. Like, yeah, we were we we're the last time we talked, we were we we're doing the Zoom the yes. Zoom thing back. It was during the COVID in the, period, in, and it's been a hot minute, man. It's been like a year and a half. Yeah. I it's looked been it up. long now, Two huh? years, I think. Wow. It's been a long time. because yeah, Whenever uh, they started the lockdown, it was not so far, not far after that. You know, it, it, it really feels like, I truly feel like we did this podcast maybe half a year ago. It just feels like that's how much time passed. Mm-hmm. But, you know, a lot of time has passed. You just We've just been on the go ever since that COVID period. We've never stopped as a band. Yeah. We just kept going. And that's, that's the weird thing because, like, right now, a lot of people are kind of doing, like, repeats to come. You know, had Zoom episodes. They want to come up here in the studio and do it. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm always looking back. Well, man, if they're only here, like, a couple months ago, I'm going to hold off, you know. And I could have sworn you guys weren't on that long ago. And then I looked at them, like, well, it's like a year and a half ago, almost it two doesn't, years. It doesn't mm-hmm. feel that way. It really I, doesn't. I did like probably sixty or seventy of those, you know, and it's like God, man, what what a nightmare those are. They're just you know, <laughs> right? If you have connection issues and stuff, I thought I thought that uh, you know we had the SM seven Bs and we had the good preamps. I don't know. I I thought that I gave you something probably a little better than most people because we were oh, in my yeah. studio. But minus we had a little transmitter, uh, crappy uh, point-to-point internet thing out there because we were out in the middle of nowhere. It couldn't have been worse than the guy that had dial-up. I had a guy mm. had I had a guy had he was out in the country and he had dial up. They still have dial up. Yeah. Wow. Was and that Kyle? <laughs> and it uh, actually worked for a, a little bit, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, it was like yeah, it was it was kind of weaving in and out and it, you hear the frames were like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the audio was kind of kicking, but yeah. Yeah, what was that that's back when you had to uh, le- talk about baud rate. Do you Ooh. remember baud rate? I do not. There's an old term from my, you know, Elementary school, we had a dial-up modem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the baud rate of your modem. 
Oh, wow. Talk about I don't anymore. know if he was like running America online or what he was doing, but. No, probably not anymore. He but. just said to me, he goes, man, he goes, I don't, I can't get anything out here. He was on yeah. the, I don't remember what town it was, someplace I never heard of, but, and he goes, we can try it. I said, okay, I'm up huh. for anything. And he got on, it was, it was his band, but everybody was in separate places. Mm-hmm. Like so, us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was up in the corner there and he didn't, he didn't last long. Yeah. So he's like, um, it, but yeah. that was the first thing out of his mouth when we got on. Like, hey, man, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but <laughs> right. Well, we got really good internet now. Kyle uh, still has something similar to what I had in the country, where there's yeah. just not any hard lines, you know, on on those country roads. Yeah. You know? so. Back then, when we did the podcast, you were still living out in Cedar Creek. Yeah. Wow, yeah. it That's does. Right. Kyle came to my house, and you were at your house. You yeah, had was, great internet. Yeah, because I was in the city. I, I'm yeah. still in the city. That's one thing. I love living out in the country, but you can't get good internet out there. Yeah, we got the high speed up here. So, you know, for the podcast, I just, you know, I had to ramp it up. It's all about that upload speed with this yeah, thing, you know. Right, for so, sure. I'm not worried too much about the download. Everybody's downloading Netflix in the neighborhood. I'm just like, man, just, hey, let me let me borrow some of your upload speed, you yeah. know. <laughs> oh, everybody's on. I muted all my stuff. I got a buddy that calls me every Monday and every Thursday. He'll call me. Hey, man, what are you doing? It's like, dude, I'm doing a podcast. You know this Mm-hmm. Call me back later. Yeah, but he does. But he has that in his brain that he just he'll call me like it. You know, when I'm always busy for some weird reason. You know, right? It is what it is. So what have you guys been up to? Well, we've never stopped ever since that last time that we did our sh- your show. You just writing and stuff, or yeah. Well, just writing and also, uh, you know, starting to seriously think about the next step of this band. And now that the COVID period is, you know, is at least the worst is over with. It's the over. COVID period. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't know how much over it is, but yeah, there's, there's a little, well, a little bit lingering. Well, the thing is that now that that part of it is over, now we're seriously getting back into kind of where we were before the pandemic happened. So now we have a lot of uh, great things coming on. We've actually just got done doing two of the busiest months that we've ever had as a band. Last month we did four shows. This month I also think we did four shows or three. Yeah, one got canceled from a storm that yes, yeah. bass drop. And so, so now that we're doing that, we've just been back in the studio, just jamming and just working on all this new material. Mm-hmm. And then uh, now that we have a lot more time, because you know Kenny over here, he's got uh, he's got his uh, baby, mm-hmm. and uh, I you believe got a baby. She, yeah, well, I, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, she's two and a half now. Oh, okay. So I, yeah, she must have been like six months old whenever we did the first podcast. But yeah, she's. Man, potty training. She's owning, running around. Man. She's like, oh, she's she's doing so good. She talks. She walks. She's, oh, nice. Just two nights ago, she slept in her own bed, not oh, by nice. herself for the whole night. But she's like, yeah. she's wanting to do these independent things, you know. That's so awesome. She um she's about ninety eight percent pee pee in the potty and one hundred one hundred percent of her poo poo in the potty. I'm that's I always say, good. I'm a, I'm a proud pop. For that's that. all. That's all good. Yeah. You know? no shit. And you know, I don't dude, have any kids, so it's like, yeah. understood. Well, due to her, you know saying getting more independent you know that leaves kenny a little bit more time to where he we can all start working on more of this music so he's so now we've gotten to start mixing and and recording more of these songs that we've had in the can which i think is now about five or six extra songs now that we Mm -hmm. have in the can and and quite a few more that we are still working on and we got a lot of extra stuff that we're planning in the future one thing that i'd love to mention is that uh is that a couple of weeks ago, we filmed our first major music video for a brand mm-hmm. new song that we released back in February called Painted Bruises. And uh, this whole video is, is about as top of the line as it gets. Oh, nice. And we, we've been... Excuse me. The the man who's been uh, filming it, he's been sending us a lot of these screenshots of all of these... Uh, uh, screen of all these uh, still shots of the video. Mm-hmm. And I'm just in awe of all of it. It just looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. So we have that, and then that'll be premiering at the end of this month. That's what we're projecting. And after that, then we got another song that we have been performing live, and it's called Cubs. And I don't know if you want to tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, uh, you know, that's uh, that's mm-hmm. one of them songs that fell together rather quickly. Mm-hmm. I think I had the idea for the riff like the night before rehearsal one day, and I was like, check this out, you know, and then it just, it just happened right there. And then... Uh, I think the next week, because when we rehearse, we're recording. We rehearse in headphones. Always. We all use Logic. I've been using Logic since 1998, mm-hmm. since it was available as eMagic, even on your PC. Um, so I'm, you know, these guys are on it now, which is fantastic. We can pass stuff around. I can, you know, everyone's got a little $200 interface, you yeah. know, 
Kyle's got a bunch of interfaces and all my drum mics are over at his house. He's got his drum mics. We just got the bulk of our all of our drum recording stuff is at Kyle's house, which is where we rehearse because he's right. out in the country and we can be loud over there. And he's got a nice uh, vaulted ceiling with wood floors. You know, great got a for couple acoustics. Of, couple of sound panels in the right spot. You know, up here and there. And uh, so we go there with rehearsal in mind. But you know, basically every time somebody goes to the bathroom or goes to the fridge, <laughs> you know, the other two start noodling and jamming on something, and then the third one comes back and. You know, a good chunk of those incident instances uh, lead to a new song. That's, you know, yeah. that's exactly how Cubs came about because we were in the, we were doing exactly that thing, and then uh, Kenny comes back, and then we and then me and Kyle had been coming up with some material, and then we decided to you know put Kenny on the spot and just say, okay, Kenny, give us something, and then he's like, okay, I'm I'm. Right. Well, I had the riff from the night before. I oh, was you like, did. Check, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, check this out. And uh, but that came together really, really quick, and uh, I'm pretty, I'm very happy with the way the mix turned out mm -hmm. on this one too. And it's showcasing very well live in front of the audience as well. Everybody's really getting into it, mm -hmm. so that tells me that the direction that we're heading with this band is very much in the more positive direction. We released an album back in 2001 last year, which is a, cul a culmination of all the singles that we put in 2020 called Hindsight's 2020. Mm -hmm. And that was, I, I, I look at that as a record of us kind of discovering who we are as a band, as the three of us. And this album is now us knowing who we are. Yeah. And projecting that forward. You know, this is an album of, of self awareness so that we're working on. How long have you guys have been together? All the, the, I the, mean, three the, of, the three of us, uh, well, let's see. I'm sure we talked about it in the last one, but I'm just trying to Richard, have a recap. Yeah, yeah, Kyle, we've had Kyle with us since 2019, I think. And then uh, late 2019, the end of 2019. So that's about three, yeah, roughly three years. And then, uh, is that right? I think it's a, no. I think it's 2018. It's I, think I think it's, it's 20, the end of 2018. Years. That's right. Because I got married in 2018, and then I think it was right after that. Kyle came around right after. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. That may, that's right. And then so Richard and I uh, got together in 2017, um, right after Sherwood Forest Fair, which is where we met. Because we're both um, you know medieval musicians over there. I'm the Spaniard. I'm the Spaniard, and uh, he's the. French musician. I am the French troubadour. <laughs> so let's do it. This is what when we when we pass each other, this is what we say. You know, we like we like um, we'll see each other, and one of us will call the other one out, mm -hmm. and I'll and I'll be and uh, I'll say something like, "Well, it smells like you finally took a bath, my French friend." <laughs> ah, well, look who finally woke up from his siesta. Yep. <laughs> So you could get away with like all this old like you know soft bigotry in the medieval times of like mm -hmm. yeah. you're French so you stink. <laughs> but, no baths. No, no, no we've baths. had no, we had a lot of fun, a lot of way the dizzy being. So we met at the forest fair, and that was actually during the rehearsal time. Uh, during January and February where everybody rehearses because over there you rehearse for eight, eight weeks and then you do the show for eight weeks. So we were in rehearsal and I was playing some guitar. I saw him playing guitar. We liked the way we sounded. And then after Fair was done, he actually called me on my uh, right before my birthday or on my birthday. And he was at the time living a couple of blocks down from me up in mm -hmm. North Austin. He said, happy birthday, man. Uh, just want you to know I got a few things I'm working on over here. I figure you might want to come on down and check them out. So I went over to his place, and then he I listened to some of his stuff. He gave me a copy of the uh, debut album, Arrow er er of Heathen. I was listening to it, and I was like, you know what? I like this. This is, uh, this is something that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just kind of snowballed from there. Nice. Yeah. Then COVID hit. <laughs> Yeah, it fucked did. everything all up. <laughs> it did. Yeah, but we you know what we got. You know, Kyle and me, uh, we were working from home. Richard was doing uh, delivery kind of work. Mm -hmm. and, uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats. Yeah, so you know, I know so many people that were either they went to, you know, did the DoorDash or like a lot of them did Amazon, the mm -hmm. Amazon driver thing. I had so many friends that did that. Right, but I guess what I was getting at is we could basically work on music and not be too worried about spreading it around because we weren't really going anywhere right you know yeah. so i didn't uh cause some people would really really scold you like i can't believe you went to such and such you oh yeah people were being brutal about all that yeah. shit like you know if you like just went over to your buddy's house to have dinner it was like a big uh, deal i i can't believe you went over there oh my god yeah. what if you have covid <laughs> what, you, what if they have covid it's like but I mean, I thought hey man you know because yeah. it was scare tactics in the beginning of it you know mm -hmm. 
I mean, because that, to me, that's when the, the real horrible COVID was, was floating around. Where the people were getting it and they were going to the hospital right. and dying and everything else. And yeah, yeah. Of... Well, it's certainly uh, as what are they? I don't yeah. want to get off on that. I know me either. Me either. But... Kind of done with it, but yeah. But it, it's it's kind of cool because now because everybody is back out a hundred percent. It looks like. Yeah. You know, yes. I went out on I went out to uh, Round Rock to go see a couple bands on Friday night, Friday or Saturday night. I don't remember. And man, it, places were packed, not a mask in sight. Mm-hmm. You know, and people were just having a great time, like you know, like nothing ever happened. As it yeah. should be, <clears throat> as it should be. Yeah, I had a repair guy show up at my house yesterday, um, and uh, what is it? He had a mask on. I said, "I'm not worried about your mask, man. Unless you have a cold, you know." Yeah, or then, the flu. but he's like, "I'm worried about you." Not you have a cold yeah. or the flu. Yeah. If I'm not worried about you, you know, whatever. But it was I had a little laugh about it, but. Um, <clears throat> I lost my train of thought. I don't have. I, I, don't worry, I do that all the time. I'm like, uh. No. Yeah. So what I was saying is like, yes, yeah, so I went over there and uh, with a couple buddies, and you know, just man, it was the first time I've been out in a while, you know, because uh, I'm not saying I was afraid of it, but you know, with my health problems and everything else, I was yeah, kind of yeah. like kind of going, ah, I don't know if I want to go out and do this and sacrifice myself, you know, mm, sacrifice yeah, myself yeah. to the COVID gods, because if I. You know, mm-hmm. I did get it in the end, you know, but it was very light. You know, I, I didn't hardly get anything. I mean, it was sure. had like, a, you know, that pre-flu fever kind of feeling, right, you right. know, right in the beginning. This is after you had your, your heart thing. It's not happened. the whole heart thing, yes. This you is probably that's something. You, nobody really knows. I had friends that are my age or younger even that are like so healthy. And then they got like hit hard. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. And they came out of yeah, it, yeah. you know, but they were sick like as a dog for like three or four weeks. And then you have people... Like you're talking about, like you got some, you had pneumonia and all that. You were like, also you, your heart has kind of uh, been hit, you yeah, know, yeah, something. Yeah. I had my, my grandma, she's 95. You yeah. know, she's got all sorts of stuff, you know, can't even get out of bed really. But like. Everybody was had, different. It was so mild yeah. for them. It's like you would think, you know. Everybody was different, you know, yeah. the whole thing. So. I feel like I might have got, I, I may or may not, I don't want to say officially that I did get it, but I would say November of 2019. Hopefully you did get it. Well, that's the same we thing with well, antibodies. It, yes, antibodies. Yeah, I mean, I feel like because uh, I'm the type of person that takes a little bit that, that that tries to stay healthy as often as possible. I wouldn't call yeah. myself a health nut, but I like to take care of myself as much as possible while I can. Well, same here. Yeah, and um, and in in November, you know, I if, if I normally if I get the sick, which is very rare, then I probably get to go through the symptoms maybe two days, three at the worst. And so this whole thing in November happened probably three days is when I got sick. But the thing is that it goes away. But about three or four weeks afterwards, I was still coughing. And I didn't understand yeah, why. I got, I got hit with something in, in December <clears throat> of 19. Um, and I, I was at a a school rock event, you know, mm. you know, school of rock for the kids. And it was an event for them. And after that was done, the place was packed. And I got hit with something. And I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel like the flu. You know, and at that point, it wasn't it wasn't even talked about because it you really didn't hear about it till like January, early February. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I remember I got sick. One of the mothers got sick. One of the guys in one of the bands got sick, and it was really bad. You know, mm-hmm. and it was like maybe a week, two weeks, maybe. Right. So I'm thinking that might have been could the have bit. could have know? been, but like you know who knows? And it's like at this point, it's like uh, you heard so much stuff when it all went down. Yeah. Like you didn't know what to believe because there's yeah. so much, so many people were saying so many different things. Yeah, right. And there's still, you know, there was actually yeah. a song that we actually debuted on yeah. this show. We did, yeah. And it was quarantine. called Quarantine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it kind of depicted a little bit of what we were thinking about at that time. Yeah, I, I got something to share. So we here's here's a list of how many songs we have drums recorded for. We have Reciprocate, and these are working titles. We have Reciprocate, Shotgun, which is just about done, Black Vanna, Cubs, which is done, which we're going to play, Painted Bruises, which is done and out, and that's where we're making the music video for, Retribution, Richard's Latin Vibe, uh, it's going to stay called the Richard's Latin Vibe. Richard's Latin Vibe. We're, we're going to call it that forever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, whatever works, right? <laughs> and there was one more. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where so is you guys it? been busy then. It's pretty much. Yeah. And we got, and I don't know how many dozens more songs. And Electric Pool. That's right. That's it. Electric so like Pool. Electric Pool. Was it a pool now? Oh, yeah. said, I thought no. you said Poodle. Pool. Pool. Like electric you, Pool. Okay, yeah. cool. Working titles so far. But we got so many different um, 
songs that don't have it don't have the drums finished yet. Oh yeah, and then there's one we just recorded the other day, Answer the Call. So that's Answer. nine. Mm -hmm. So we got drums done for nine songs, and then we got which was another song that we came up with just on the spur of the whim. Yeah. So where are you guys recording all this stuff? At, we'll at, record the drums at Kyle's house. Richard uh, a lot, will either record at his house or at my house. Mm -hmm. I have a home recording studio. I just don't have a space for drums, but I do have a nice vocal booth. Oh, nice. And uh, a nice control room. It's basically my garage. It's also my office. Lately, so. I've been recording all my bass over there because the thing is that, you know, we I come up with a lot of the bass over there at organically but then we fine-tune it together right when we go yeah. over to his house when we record the music it was so much faster if we're there together yeah you have that uh, critical producer mm -hmm. ear otherwise if he if he records a bunch of stuff and this happens with me too i've done you know things with other projects but you record and you you know like okay check this out and mm -hmm. like okay i want you to try this 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 and you end up going back and forth so much if you're just there in person it, yeah. it's just as you go it just happens so much faster yeah it's nice to have a home studio you know um, even with this, I, it was funny because I had a band up here probably about a month ago and they're doing another record, I guess, you know, but they're doing it by themselves. <clears throat> and this, they're asking, hey, can we do vocals up here? Let's use your stuff. <laughs> nah. I, like, have a, ah. I have a killer vocal uh, booth. I'm like, I don't know if I can do vocals up here. And they're looking at the gear kind of going, oh, maybe this will work, you know. Well, hey, I have a really killer vocal booth. What's it's it called? Bass Drop. What's the, it called? The Musical Man Cave. The Musical Man Cave. There That's the go. name of my this studio. Is just, this is just the Cobra Cave in here. That's all this is. Nice. Actually, I might have a... I should have. I, I'm so unprepared. I should. He's have got a pictures. Facebook for it, actually. If y'all are interested, I'll check out you, his studio, the that's Musical a, that's, Man Cave. That's a great idea, man. Because I know um, there's people who went to podcasting now. I mean, podcasting is so big that mm -hmm. there's like mm -hmm. these people are investing money into like these studios that are like probably ten or twelve podcast little mini podcast studios and they rent them out by the hour like a mm -hmm. sort of like a studio you know a musical studio you yep. go in there record a podcast i think it's like maybe 100 bucks an hour or something like that and, yeah i've seen that happen around you know, town as well and my thing is like you know what i don't want to rent something because i i want to know how to work everything and i want it to be kind of like a man cave and have, have it be cool and you know so that's why I, you know i like i said i built this from the from the ground up so yeah yeah, so I have to worry to, about you oh, know. I don't know if this is helpful or not. But that's, that's cool. That's a view. Oh, the of lighting's my, cool. Yeah, my vocal booth, and uh, let me see if I can show my desk. I copied the um, the output platform. This is before I had my curtains mm -hmm. and treatment up. Uh, move it up where you can see it. Ah, come on. There we go. Oh, cool, nice. Yeah, and if you go to the, the Facebook dot com slash, I think I think it's the Musical Man Cave. If you just search Musical.